the first thing that we want to look at when we talk about the Augusta strategy is first and foremost, what is that strategy? It's basically the tax loophole that allows a business owner to rent their primary residence up to 14 days, particularly nine consecutive days at a reasonable rental price. And so it's recommended to do comp analysis on what that reasonable price is. And I'll show you how we handle that internally. The home can be used for a variety of business purposes, but it can't be a full-time rental property and you can't go past the 14 days. If you go past the 14 days, then all the benefit, you lose the benefit. Now to qualify or to substantiate for the Augusta strategy, there's a couple things that must happen in order to be able to substantiate and put your client in a defensible place against audit or examination from the IRS. The first thing is have a written rental agreement in place between the S Corp or the entity and the homeowner or the client. There must be thorough documentation supporting the rental price. So we can't just pull a number out of the air and say, okay, well, I think the rental price should be X amount of dollars. We've got to substantiate that. What's the area? area in and around the home and what are you normally renting from. And then obviously the business entity must be structured primarily as an S Corp, C Corp, or a partnership. It can't be a Schedule C for self-employment income unless it's a single member LLC, in which case I would typically encourage our clients to move into more of an election of an S Corp status or create an S Corp that manages that other LLC.